Good morning, saints. As we look to the Lord this morning, we give him thanks for bringing us together once more for his goodness and his mercies that he renews every morning. As you contemplate what has happened during the week and the heat of the times and the heat of the times, I pray that you will just look to the Lord right now for yourselves and just ask him to consecrate your hearts and your minds and if it is that you brought something here this morning that you just give it to him just give it to him right now as we and if there's something you want to thank him for then just do that at this time and I don't think anybody should be inactive at this time. Because you either have something that you need to give him as a burden or you give him a praise. Almighty God, creator of all. We come in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, thanking you for this another day. Thank you for the air we breathe. Thank you that we are in our right minds. Thank you for having sustained us day after day. Thank you for forgiving us for your grace and your mercies. And thank you for renewing your mercies, even when we do not deserve it. Lord, as we come, we ask, dear God, that you will take every thought in us, every attitude, every behavior, every belief, even our very disposition, and that you cleanse us from all unrighteousness consecrate our hearts and our minds even those things that are deep seated within us Lord God Almighty that are automatically placed within our thoughts within our memories that we are not aware of that you will unplug that you'll eradicate and that you fill us with your power your presence, your peace, your word. And Lord God, that we will be the people you call us to be. That our hearts, Lord, if they're of stone, Lord, that you will turn our hearts to hearts of flesh. Hearts that become obedient to your will and your way. Lord God, cause it that our desires will be the desires that you ordained for us and the will to carry out your purpose. But even then, Lord, help us to understand purpose. You show me that purpose is found and foundational, foundational in the word of God. Obedience to the principles and the precepts of the word of God. That's where our purpose begins. Help us to embrace and to understand it. And to look to you as the author and the finisher of our faith. Lord, we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. Because you are a God who is omniscient. You are omnipotent. You are omnipresent. You are infinitely great. You are awesome. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for the many things you have done for us. We thank you, Lord God, for your healing power upon your people. We thank you for the surgeries that you've brought Brianna and Katie through. God Almighty, there is just so much in that that we cannot even find it within ourselves, the capacity that we have to thank you, Lord God Almighty, for what you do in these two young ladies' life in the healing process. And we thank you, Lord, for completing that process in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we thank you 
for having taken Gabrielle through the finals of her medical practical exams. Gabrielle is leading this morning. God Almighty, it has been an issue for her so many times. But time and time again, Lord, she has proven your goodness. And she has proven your mercies. And Lord, we pray with her. But Lord, we also come to give you thanks. And we glorify your name, O oh God. Lord, we forget not your benefits and we are careful to give you thanks in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we are thanking you for excellence and success in the results as she proceed further in our medical internship. Lord, we just give you praise and honor. And Lord, we thank you, dear God, for the many activities that have gone through in this church. Some really tough months, but Lord, we thank you. Each day, we thank you for everything you do. We thank you, Lord, for the comfort you give for those who have lost loved ones. Lord, we thank you also for the ministry in Raytown yesterday, the, the dental ministry that this group headed by Sister Darlene Jones and Sister Barbara Kelly, our local missionary, did in Raytown yesterday. And the other persons who have been supported in that ministry, God, we just thank you. And we pray, Lord God, that your word will be planted in these young people. And that they, Almighty God, will become agents of change in their communities. And that the seeds, Lord, that are sown will bear good fruit. And that those fruits will bear even more fruits. And that they'll multiply for your glory. Lord, we come to you out of concern also for our people. God, we thank you for the life of our sister Lucille. Alex, the who took her last breath. Lord, we pray that our soul will find rest in you. And we pray, Lord, for the saints who have been close to her, that you provide the oil of gladness for the spirit of mourning and the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. And Lord, that we will see the light knowing that there is hope because there is eternal life. That our sister is resting until that day. And as the ecclesiastic writer says that the soul returns to God and the body returns to the dust. So Lord, even though we mourn and we're saddened by her passing, we rejoice that one saint of that saint who is saved amen and lord we pray for the family of the shaw brother shaw who was an early member foundational member of this church who has passed and i know that mrs shaw is here in jamaica trying to complete the final goodbyes for her husband we pray lord that you'll also provide that com that family with comfort and peace and lord god that glory your glory will be established in every way lord we remember those who are not well remember your servant reverend dr garnet Ropa who is struggling with his health at this time. God, we pray that your Holy Spirit will minister to him in a way that only you can. God, we pray that you strengthen him and that you, Lord God, will be his keeper and that he will realize that and hold on to that. Lord, we also lift up to you our sister, Garcia Ratchery, 
Lord, this pregnancy has really taken its toll, but in the name of Jesus, we have hope. And we know that that child will be well, we pray, for your divine covering, your divine peace, Almighty God, that in everything, in everything you are glorified. Because you share your glory with no one. So Lord, this is for your glory. So we say, be exalted in this situation, dear God. That this child grows to the term that she need, that it, it needs to grow. And that you will be glorified when this child come forth in the name of Jesus Christ. And even during this pregnancy. Lord, we pray for her brother Malachi, who insists that I pray for him publicly. Lord, I pray, dear God, that you will bless him to be a good brother to his sibling. And that you will cover him and that you will dictate and direct his life in every way that he'll become a man of God a powerful man of God to glorify your name Lord we lift up the leadership of this church we pray Lord that you grant us the direction we need to take in everything we do that you grant wisdom and knowledge and insight and understanding and the will and the courage and the desire to do what is your will at all times Lord that you'll have mercy on us and you forgive us, Lord, where we do not do the right thing. But, Lord, that you will guide and direct. Make it clear, Almighty God, for us to know the way and take the way. In Jesus' name, Lord, we lift up to you our country, Jamaica. We pray for the leadership of this country. We pray, Lord, for the Prime Minister, Andrew Holness, and his team. And the leader of the opposition, Mark Golding, and his team. Lord God Almighty, we pray that good sense and sound mind will prevail in every decision, in every attitude that is taken concerning the governing of this country. Lord, we take from the east to the west, north to south of this country, and we stand against every power of darkness, every criminal activity, every mind that is, ser is conjoining some kind of attitude towards criminality we, we put homes to you Lord we pray for families and come against domestic violence abuse of all kinds Lord God Almighty we pray that your children will survive your youths will survive in this country that they will not be put under a bushel but that day will shine and that day will be the star you created them to be and that day will be the salt that you created them to be and that they'll be agents of change. And that we'll have change in this country. That communities will be changed as families change. And Lord God Almighty, that as a society, we will walk in the direction that God has ordained for us. In the name of Jesus. So Lord, we lift up the challenges we face. Even as COVID-19 decides to want to raise its ugly head at a higher pace again. Dear God, we stand against it also. And every other disease and it, of all kinds, in the name of Jesus, that there be good health among us as a people, in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, we pray that we will be peaceful towards each other. But Lord, that we will understand that we have a responsibility to every young person in this country. And that we'll give the support that they need regardless of how they may seem to us. God Almighty, we thank you that our, econ our economy continues to perform. But Lord God, we pray that you grant the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding that is needed. And the boldness and the courage to do the things that need to be done. So we lift up to you Almighty God, the private and the public sector, the technocrats and the political directorate. Lord God, and the policy and the legislations, Lord God, that are in place, let them be ones that glorify your name in the name of Jesus. And for all those who want to kill before the child is born, God Almighty, we put those situations to you and we stand against it in the name of Jesus Christ. Because Lord, you know that some currently are happening. 
But Lord, it is for your glory that we stand and that we exist and that we have our being. And Lord, even as we proceed with the rest of this service this morning, we pray for those who are sick and shut in and that you comfort every heart and every mind. And Lord, even as this service proceed, we pray that you will lead and cause it that we'll follow. We pray for her brother, your ordained minister, Monroe Wisdom, and his wife as they come to share with us this morning. We pray, Almighty God, that you will endow upon him a special anointing upon his tongue, upon his, upon his lips, and that you will awaken his ear to listen as someone being taught by you. And that whatever it comes with, Lord, will be full of grace and seasoned with salt. And that it will be clear to everyone. And that it will do that which you call it to do. We praise you and honor you, Lord. And we thank you for those who are with us, especially those who are visiting with us for the first time. I remember Brother Lloyd trusted his sisters and his grandniece who are right here with us this morning. We pray, Lord, that their hearts will be blessed and that all our hearts will be blessed. So we give you glory. And we give you honor and we give you praise as we say thanks and God's people say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord.